guys, it's Elena, and today I have another cloth diaper review for you. Yes, this is the real living room. It's a mess. Paw Patrol's on in the background. Aaron's hanging out over there. Bear Bear just went down for a nap. I have a random stain on my shirt. All right, anyway, <laughs> let's hop in. We're gonna talk about the Kinder, Kinder, I'm pretty sure it's Kinder uh, pocket cloth diapers. Let's get into the breakdown, what it looks like inside, and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it. So I did uh, message them on Instagram to find out that it was Kinder, not Kinder. So just FYI, it's totally Kinder. So we actually have a five step rise system here. So lots of options for how small or big you want to make this diaper. Also here on the waist, we have two vertical snaps with a hip snap and crossover snaps, which you guys know I love. Crossover snaps are awesome for when you have a poopy diaper and you're out and about and you don't wanna deal, it, deal with it until you get home. So you roll up your diaper, you snap it shut, and then you just take care of it when you get home. It is made of PUL waterproof material and it has athletic wicking jersey inside. I love athletic wicking jersey. I find that it allows the pee to seep through faster than like fleecy stuff. It is a single open ended pocket so it doesn't open on the other side, just on the one side, kind of like a more traditional pocket diaper style. You do get some elastic here on the, like elastic on the butt as well as elastic on the pocket opening which I find to be like an extra layer of blowout protection on the back side. It's like two elastics right there on the side where the poo may escape when you have like a newborn. So I think that's super handy. I do like that even though when it comes to um, stuffing the diaper, like when you're actually doing like putting the, the inserts inside on wash day, on laundry day, it's it makes the pocket a little bit tiny even though it's not tiny inside. You know, this is like a pretty wide generous crotch section. It does make the opening a little bit tiny for stuffing your hand in. So here is the diaper as small as it gets. I did not own this when Barrett was a teeny tiny newborn, so I don't have firsthand experience on it fitting a teeny tiny newborn, but this is the smallest setting. I am using the crossover snap. This is a nice little tiny newborn waist here, and even, okay, I know it looks kind of funky, but even the leg holes get pretty dang tiny. I think this would absolutely work on a newborn who has already lost their umbilical stump and you're not worried about the diaper covering up their belly button area. So once their umbilical stump has healed and everything is good in that department, I think this guy would totally work. Now, keep in mind, this has nothing in it right now. And when you have a tiny newborn, you're gonna use like smaller size inserts. So it just kind of depends on what kind of inserts you have on hand and what you're gonna be stuffing this with. But I think just judging by the, the belly and the leg holes, this would totally fit a teeny tiny baby who has lost their umbilical stump. Now, I know you guys are wondering because this is such a freaking gorgeous color. This one is called Dusk and they have a line of like your traditional kind of like, you know, rainbow colored solids, but they also have a boho line of solids, which are more like natural kind of colors, like some gorgeous, gorgeous colors in there. So I picked up a few of those. I love this, the shade, this thing is gorgeous. I just, if you go check out their Instagram and look at all the pictures of their like boho stuff, they're absolutely beautiful. They also have like prints and stuff too. And like I said, the original like kind of rainbow line as well, but these like more muted tones, that's where it's at. They are beautiful. And these guys are only 10 bucks a pop. They are super, super gorgeous. They have some features that I super love on a pocket. I love the athletic wicking jersey. I love a crossover snap. So yeah, these guys are beautiful. They're, this is pretty soft and flexible. It's not too stiff or anything. It definitely feels like a comfy little diaper. I am super in love with them and they are a great price point and there's some beautiful colors. So I would totally 100% recommend checking out these diapers if you guys have seen them on Instagram or whatever. Just go and buy yourself a couple. I think even when I bought mine, like you even get a discount if you buy like three or more or something like that. So yeah, they're already super affordable anyway, but they're beautiful. They are a little wide in the crotch, as you can see. If bulk kind of bugs you in that way, I mean, I could see you might not want to pick this up. It's a little bit wide. It's probably just as wide as like a mama koala or something. Let me see here. Yeah, so I have a mama koala diaper right here. They're, they're the same little width there in the middle section. But it's not like a thick PUL. It's not 
uh, stiff. It doesn't have a double layer, so it's not, you know, nothing, it's not big and bulky. It's definitely small enough for a tiny baby if you want to use it on a tiny baby. I don't find the crotch section to be a big deal uh, as far as like bulkiness is concerned. Bulk really doesn't bother me on cloth diapers though. If you are somebody who just really likes something that's a little bit more trim in the crotch, if you have tinier babies or something, you know, I can understand, but it doesn't bug me, it doesn't bother me. That's literally the only uh, downside I could even think of to mention for this diaper and I don't even find it to be a downside. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was at least a little bit helpful for you. If you have tried out these Kender diapers, let us know down in the comments below. Let me know what beautiful solid is your favorite shade because this guy is just totally gorgeous. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.